tell me a little bit more about plant sterols. I think some some people listening may be hearing uh, this term uh, for the first time. So what are these, where do you find them and how much do you need to lower your cholesterol? What we've seen, what we've seen is that um, what are the main sources of, 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 of plant sterols? We have cholesterol in our bodies and that's what we use. It's a, it's a, it's a structural element and it's part of our cells. So, I mean, people say, well, of course we need cholesterol. Well, you don't because you synthesize enough of it. You don't need it, but you do, in, in effect, you do need it. It's just that you don't need to have a, an external source of it. That's the important right. thing. But ch- cholesterol is certainly very important in the body and we do need it. Um, we seem to be able to get rid of a lot of it with uh, cholesterol-lowering medications and we don't seem to come to any grief um, with, uh, with, with, with very low cholesterol levels. So we don't have to worry too much about it. Uh, but it does tend to be synthesized where it's necessary. The plant uses um, plant sterols, which are a little different from our cholesterol levels, and it, it uses it for various functions. So you find it um, in leafy vegetables, will have quite a, a, a load of plant sterols in them. So will the plant oils, the seeds, they will have quite a lot. So the oils that you will get normally will have um, an appreciable amount of plant sterol in them. Not large amounts, but you know a few hundred milligram amounts, not gram amounts, hundred milligram amounts, so that you can get plant sterols uh, through vegetables and through natural oils, nuts, these sort of things. And we did a we did a a high plant-based diet, really very, we called it the Simeon diet, which we thought was the great ape diet, as it were. And we looked at what our people were eating um, in terms of uh, in terms of plant sterols. And Peter Jones uh, in Canada did the analyses, he's, he's one of the great experts on plant sterols, did the analyses of, of, of the dietary intakes. And um, it looked as if we were having about um, a gram a day of plant sterols got from all these sources. Um, Plant sterols were recognized quite some time ago. Um, People like Scott Grundy showed that they lowered serum cholesterol. Um, And it was sort of in the era when we were looking at dietary fiber, we were looking at plant sterols, we were looking at all these sort of plant components. And he thought that, that was a, a possibly an important way in which plant oils also lower serum cholesterol, which they do. And so we thought, well, this is great. Let's um, let's let's test these. Other people have been testing them, and we thought they should be part of the portfolio. So we ended up doing some studies on plant sterols. But plant sterols have been around, as I say, since about the 60s as being an interest. Um, but um, they became more interesting when, when they found how they could be esterified um, and put into things like margarines to enrich them. And these margarines were quite potent in lowering cholesterol by about 7 to 10%. So, you know, quite good lowering um, in terms of serum cholesterol. And you could get even more percentage reductions if you took up to 2 grams a day, which is twice the amount that we would have taken on a very strict, high plant-based diet. Um, obviously, those who are on a no plant-based diet with very few oils, except very refined um, industrial, industrially produced oils, these would have, these people would have low um, plant sterol intakes, um, and so that became very much something that seemed seemed of interest. 